in the 981 GT4. Now the 981 GT4 is important because it represents the first time that Porsche allowed the GT division to start messing with the Cayman and messing with it in a real good way. First things first, the inputs are just flawless. I don't think I've driven a car where the steering, the transmission, clutch, throttle response, everything is just exactly how you want it. I mean, it's shockingly easy to get used to. There is so little learning curve here as far as the inputs are concerned unbelievably natural. The flywheel feels lightweight. It makes the rev matching of downshifts feel super crisp, rewarding. There's actually really nice torque between like three and four. That's not obviously where this engine is the absolute happiest, but for an NA six cylinder, it's got plenty of power in the middle of the rev band. And that's nice because considering how long the gearing is, you really want the rest of the rev range to be nice and usable. And it's strong. The way that this engine reacts to your inputs is very, very satisfying. It does exactly what you say, even with the lightest of inputs. Let's see if we can get this puppy on a fun section of road here. Steering is so direct, yet so light. It's really, really satisfying to use. The front end is sharp, and the turn in is, wow, amazing. so much balance and you can start to drive pretty quickly with so much confidence not only because the chassis and the suspension setup is so fantastic but because the size is what a sports car is supposed to be it is small it is relatively lightweight you can place it on the road with so much finesse and accuracy because of the size, because the steering is so good. Oh, the top of second is awesome. The grip is ridiculous. Just playing around in second is delightful. It's like the perfect amount of power. The stability is excellent. I mean, God, <laughs> it's so easy before you've driven one of these to be a little skeptical, like, oh, how can everybody be talking so, so favorably about these cars? And it's because it's that good. Listen to that. I'd like a little more bite from the top of the brake pedal if I had one one little thought so far that could just be pads and fluid honestly but I'm used to a little bit more engagement right as you graze the pedal and there's nothing wrong with that once you get into it the performance is there it's, there's exciting cars that as you start to push them they kind of fall apart this thing just gets better and better as you start to actually drive the thing. Oh, the traction is great coming out of corners, like midway through second gear. 
just rolling into it. It doesn't even attempt to break the rear loose. It just rotates a little bit. Feels like it has a nice light flywheel. The engine loves to rev. And that's such a fun characteristic because it just makes playing with this engine such a treat. That's kind of the theme for this driving experience. It's light, it's delicate, but it's also so exciting and so mechanical. Cars can be so light in their inputs that the experience of it kind of gets lost a little bit and there's not a whole lot of feel. This is light, but it's purposeful. like that I have been won over <laughs> if the logistics of me selling everything that I had to go out and buy one of these now wasn't so ridiculous I think I would I would drop everything and go buy one because this is the exact experience that I look for for my cars it's why I bought the Z4M when I did and it's why I still have that car after six years it's because I can't afford to replace it that is this experience at a much, much lower level. It's the experience that I've been chasing with that car with my modifications. But Porsche offered this right from the factory. Where BMW left off after the Z4M and they stopped producing those small, lightweight sports cars, Porsche continued. And they perfected it. Cars like this make me wish that BMW had continued down that path. They took the Z4M and the next generation, they pushed it further and further, and that they had actually continued to create a Cayman competitor. But now, the Cayman is just, a, especially a GT4, is just about in a class of its own. I mean, if you want a naturally aspirated screamer of a six cylinder, a manual transmission, rear drive, mid engine, small, lightweight sports car that is just so focused, this is the name of the game. So far, this is motorsport theater, which is exactly what I hoped that it would be. It is <laughs> bringing the sensations of a track car, race car to the street, but in a way that's manageable and easy and fun. sure I'm there's stuff that's gonna be more exciting than this but oh, as far as like small small sports cars are concerned this is up there with the best of them 